This is Tech Teach again. In our last lesson, we were looking at uh, formulas for calculating gear ratios. Now we're talking about compound gear trains. A compound gear train is a more than two gears that has one gear that has two gears on the same shaft. So let's say each one of these colored circles is a gear, and they're all different sizes and they're all put together. Gear A, or the green gear, is meshed with the yellow gear. The yellow and blue gear share the same shaft, therefore both of their little white dots here are going to turn at the same speed. And then the red gear and the blue gear are now meshed together. So we have to figure out what the gear ratios are of this compound gear train. So the the two middle gears share a common axle so they rotate the same speed. This allows the final gear to rotate slower and produce more torque than if they're, they were connected with only a driver gear. So the driver is in control of how fast everything's turning but since this middle yellow gear is larger and that gear is a little bit smaller. It now has the ability to slow this bigger gear down and make it more powerful. So we're looking for power here. So let's go to the next slide. So here we have a compound gear problem and the the compound gear that we're looking at is the same one that we were just looking at but now we have a number of teeth. So we have 50 teeth on the red and 40 teeth on the yellow and 20 teeth on the blue and 10 teeth on the green. And the green is denoted now as a driver gear. So uh, what we want to do is we want to look at the gear ratio between gear A and gear B. So the gear ratio is going to be determined by the number of teeth out divided by the number of teeth in equal to gear ratio over 1. So we know that the green A has 10 teeth. So 10 is going to go down here. And we know that the um, B gear, the yellow gear, the yellow gear has 40 teeth. So it's going to be 40 over 10. And the gear ratio then becomes 4 to 1. Okay. So now we know part of the equation. We know this connection with that yellow one. Then we want to do what is the gear ratio between C, the blue one, and the red one. So what's the gear ratio? We start out with a number out and the number in and that's 50 divided by 20 so we have 50 on the red gear and then the blue gear is driving because it's the closest gear to the driver gear. So this one drives that one, this one drives that one, this one drives that one. Once you know where the driver gear is, you should be able to determine in your gear ratios which one's close by, by determining which one's closest to the driver gear. So then 50 divided by 20 is uh, 2.5 to 1. And then uh, what is the gear ratio of the entire gear train? How do we calculate that? Well, we take the gear ratio of the first set of equations that we have 4 to 1 and we multiply it times the gear ratio of the second equation so 4 times 2.5 is 10 10 to 1 so we have a much greater advantage here we have a 10 to 1 gear ratio increasing in in torque and everything else so that's how a compound gear works uh, I hope you've gotten something out of it. And then we got one short lesson on gears uh, in sprockets, like a bike chain, and one on pulleys coming up. So bear with me. We'll get through this.